Alright guys, so basically the title of this video is very self-explanatory. What happens in this challenge, or not really challenge, but simulation really, because I'm doing absolutely nothing, is that- Wait, what the hell? Um, I was gonna mention like in 10 minutes that I have no control over anything that happens with this team, but um, I guess the fact that the Bucks traded for DeMar DeRozan says enough for that. So basically, after every single season, all three All-NBA teams are going to be terminated from existence. Uh, that was a pretty proper way of putting it, wasn't it? So, um, we're at the end of the season here with the Milwaukee Bucks, and we're about to just see who's on the All-NBA teams. By the way, there was, this was a start today. So, uh, automatically, Giannis is gone. And let's see who else is gone. James Harden, Luka Doncic, Giannis, Anthony Davis, Carl Towns, Andre Drummond, Kawhi Leonard, LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, Trey Young, Russell Westbrook, Damian Lillard, Paul George, Chris Dobbs, Porzingis, and Joel Embiid. It's over for you. It's officially over. None of those guys will ever see an NBA floor again. First of all, I can't just like actually retire a player. So what happens is we're completely lowering his ratings and then I'm going to take off his contract so that the Bucks can go ahead and sign somebody else if they really want to with that money. 13, 14, 15 players officially down and out of the league. 15, well, the, the 15 best players in the league, basically, based on the All-NBA voting. So Curry is now far and away the best player in the league and also Kevin Durant is going to come back from that torn red Achilles. So actually, I don't know if I said this before, but injuries are off, but I started this as a start today and for some reason the injuries were there um then again if i did it as a start today and neither one of them had played up to that point they wouldn't have made the all-nba teams anyways majority of these teams i can't even go over all of them but majority of these teams are heavily killed from that and now let's see what happens so the lakers in minnesota oh this is an interesting one because they lost towns and they lost ad and lebron and this one <laughs> The Rockets and Mavericks one, we have Harden and Westbrook and Luka and KP all gone. The Clippers still beat the Nuggets, even though their best player is Lou Will. Ben Simmons and the Sixers easily took care of Spencer Dinwiddie. The Bucks got eliminated first round with no Giannis. <laughs> Dwight Howard had to go 2008. It was literally just Dwight Howard versus Andrew Wiggins. There is no way. Houston still made it to the Western Conference Finals, even without Harden and Westbrook. Um, Let's see what happens here. OKC in Houston. It's looking like OKC is going to advance. Oh my God. Oh, they almost blew a through one lead again. And now in the finals, it's looking like Boston's going to take this one home. Um, Yep, Boston takes it. So Kemba Walker wins finals MVP. Um, Boston was lucky enough to not have anyone good enough to make an All-NBA team, but they have the perfect well-rounded team to win the nba finals <laughs> look at the free agency pool trey young kyrie westbrook you know just just normal guys all right so our first team the bucks tried to fare with losing Giannis by signing montrez harrell clippers had to have done oh my god they signed hassan atlanta signed evan fournier to replace trey young lakers signed jeff teague and tristan thompson the mavericks signed jabari parker and carmelo anthony the nets signed fred van vliet tim roof signed jacob Podol. the trailblazers really signed nobody and the the Sixers also signed up. The best players in the league are Steph Curry, Ben Simmons, Jokic, and Kevin Durant. But KD is still out for two more weeks with the Storm Red Achilles. So let's see what happens in this season. Jokic is MVP. He's automatically out of here. So this is who's going to get kicked out of the league now. Steph Curry, Ben Simmons, KD, Jimmy Butler, Nikola Jokic, D'Angelo Russell, Kyle Lowry, Pascal Siakam, Zion Williamson, Nikola Vucevic, Devin Booker, Anthony Edwards, Brandon Ingram, Blake Griffin, and and Bam Adebayo. So uh, those guys from last year and this year are now combined here to combine for 30 players, 30 of the best players the NBA has ever seen, wasted at the bottom of the totem pole. Boston was the NBA champions and has still not lost one player to the NBA plague of all NBA teams. Why did I say it like that? Um, New Orleans was the number one seed but lost Zion and Brennan Ingram and it looks like they're going to lose to the OKC Thunder. And Houston beats, Houston's still good somehow even though they are led by Nikola Mirotic and Clint Capella. Boston's rolling through the Eastern Conference. Phoenix makes it all the way even though Devin Booker doesn't exist anymore. Um, Houston looks like they're going to advance to the finals maybe. Never mind. Phoenix said no and Boston advances to the finals once again. And <laughs> once again, Boston just says hell no. We're, we're going to take this one once again. So Kemba Walker went from like eight years on the Hornets of nothing to now two-time champion. Oh, well the Suns do have Aiden, but like it's just like Aiden Oubre, Willie, Will, Willie Barton. Okay, so in the playoffs, Michael Porter Jr. is the second leading 
leading scorer in the playoffs. I wonder if he played a lot of games. Let's see. Uh, no, he got bounced first round, but still, Michael Porter Jr. was the second leading scorer in the playoffs. Clay was number one. James Wiseman, Kemba Walker, he won who won another championship, etc., etc. Tyler Harrow, Aaron Gordon, Markel. All right, so basically, based off those guys who are leading the playoffs in scoring, the next season is going to be probably the crazy. Well, yeah, the craziest one yet. But the next season is going to be the one where the league is really shook. All right, so after wiping out that last class of All NBA players, Ja Morant is now the best player in the league at a 92 overall, followed by Donovan, Jason Tatum, DeAndre Aiden, Bradley Beal, Jalen Brown, etc., etc. I can't even go through all the teams and try to see how they. I mean, you could look at them right here as I scroll through, but um, I can't grow, go through all the teams individually to show you how they bounce back at this point. It's just going to take too long. So let's just see how players perform with their increased roles. All right, so looking at the all-star game rosters, there's only a couple guys on here that even have three all-star appearances, and that's Kemba, Bradley Beal, Kevin Love, and Victor Oladipo. Aside from that, all of these guys have two or less all-star appearances. I mean, for God's sake, Mo Bamba and Yusuf Nurkic made the all-star team. Bol Bol made the all-star team. So the number one pick to the Lakers, Cade Cunningham, is the second most points per game in the league, not even out of rookies in the league. Montrez Harrell is fifth, Ma Michael Porter Jr. is sixth, Jamal Murray, James Wiseman, RJ Barrett, and Kevin Knox. So the MVP of the National Basketball Association is Bol Bol. Bol Bol. The rookie of the year. Wait, what? He's never played a minute before? So Bol Bol, Bol just won most valuable player and rookie of the year in the same year. Don't tell me one defensive player. Okay, Rudy Gobert won that. The all NBA first team is Cade Cunningham, the guy who was just number one overall pick like two years ago. Cole Anthony of the Sacramento Kings, Michael Porter Jr., Kevin Love, and Bol Bol. The second team is Killian Hayes, LaMelo Ball, Julius Randle, Jaden McDaniels, and James Wiseman. And the third team is Donovan Mitchell, Jamal Murray, Tobias Harris, Isaiah Stewart, and Montrez Harrell. Wait, wait, wait. Are you telling me a Celtic didn't make it again? Jason Tatum and Kemba Walker were both on the All-Star team, but couldn't even make an All-NBA team once it... Did the app just crash? It literally can't handle 2K's horrible loading screens. Hopefully it didn't delete everything. 2K, I don't want your VC or your special offers. Okay, um, nope, nothing got deleted, I believe. So, those guys that we lowered the contracts of have officially joined on to the other guys that we lowered contracts of. And, uh, here we are. Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, Trey Young, Kyrie, all still hoping for a comeback. Sadly, it's not gonna happen. Now we see what happens once again. And this next season's probably gonna be the last one. After this platform, we're gonna do one more season. And then we're done so in this first round it's looking like the warriors are still doing pretty well even though they lost that guy that i forgot the name of already um the wizards advance to the second round they still have bradley beal if i'm not mistaken i don't think he ever made an all nba team actually let me fact check that yep bradley beal is still here in the flesh after we did that john morant didn't make an all nba team yeah no john morant is a 93 overall and has yet to make an all nba team jason tatum also still has yet to make an all nba team same goes for brogdon ayton beal jalen brown levine so uh we have those 690 overalls i believe that is morant should be the best but it looks like uh he didn't even make the playoffs the wizards led by bradley beal make it to the eastern conference finals phoenix still dominating okc over there in the western conference as well boston dominating once again is boston just going to continue their dynasty oh my god please okc do something about this and this time jason tatum wins finals mvp boston has yet to have an all nba player and continues to dominate they're still led by like the same core danilo gallinari chris paul gilgis alexander darius basley i mean chris paul's about to retire on his own if we look at the playoff stat leaders clay thompson led the league in scoring once again followed by markel fultz evan mobley tyrese maxi bobby portis is ninth in scoring matisse thibuel is up there De'Aaron fox john wall and bradley beal we are going on to the last season lebron james and kevin durant finally both just call it quits here we are going to the last season still ja morant tatum beal brogdon eight and jalen brown De'Aaron fox mitchell robinson as the only 90 overall players in here both mitchell robinson and De'Aaron join that class and now we sit back relax and see what happens in the last season if you haven't already i'm not the person to ask usually because i find it corny and annoying but um i've been sitting here looking at loading screens for the past two hours so um you should probably uh you know just uh you know what i'm implying all right i'm not gonna say it but here's a look at the all-star teams for this year so it's probably a good thing that we're ending this after this because 
The MVP, I think the point was made because the MVP now is um, Tyrese Halliburton. This guy is in his third year pro. Um, I have no clue who he is. That was a Rudy Gobert. He keeps winning DPOY, but he's never been on the All-NBA team. So here's the players that would get eliminated this year. Tyrese Halliburton, Brogdon, Bagley, Jalen Johnson, Mobley. Still no John ja Morant. Bradley Beal, Markel Fultz. Amr Sila, DeAndre Hunter, Onyeka Okongwu. That sounds like a Nicki Minaj's name. Third team, RJ Barrett, Ja Morant, Amani Bates, Denny Avija, and DeAndre Aiden. Did we still not see Tatum make an All-NBA team? Tatum or Kemba? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. So you're telling me that the, the Celtics are still full strength. Not even at this point, Jalen Brown's also a 90 overall. So they, they're just not... Oh my god. Onzo Ball still staying strong. So this is officially where we stand. The final playoff run of this league series video. What the hell am I saying? Jason Tatum, 93 overall. Jalen Brown, Mitchell Robinson, Zach Levine, Kemba Walker, De'Aaron Fox, DeJounte Murray. Those are the only 90 overalls left and top three out of the five of them are all Celtics. Let's see what happens. Is Boston's reign of terror going to continue or is something going to happen to stop them? Well, it's definitely not going to be the first round because the Pacers just lost Brogdon. The Phoenix Suns lost DeAndre Aiden, but it looks like they're still going to advance into the second round. San Antonio also advances. I don't think they lost anybody. Boston still looking like they're not going to lose. San Antonio winning over Phoenix, who obviously, like I just said, lost DeAndre Aiden. The Clippers also make it to the next round. Celtics finally lose a game to the Cavaliers. And the Cavaliers? No, don't tell me they're going to blow it oh they blew it they blew it Darius Garland Thomas Bryant and all these other guys blew it to the Boston Celtics after nearly having the chance to defy the odds we've got Chris Middleton and company this actually happened like the beginning of the video when we traded Chris Middleton for DeMar DeRozan I'm assuming DeRozan retired by now all right let's see what happens man we already know what's gonna happen Boston 3 Boston 4 and the super team continues so throughout this video I'll fact check this to make sure but it seems like Boston just won four rings right yep Boston won four four rings throughout the course of this video and um so basically if you're wondering what would happen if the nba deleted every all nba team's existence from the league after every season um this is exactly what would happen boston basically is way too well-rounded for any of those players to stand out completely so um yeah they just go on to keep all their players never lose not one of them and just continue to be a super team thank you for watching like i mentioned a while ago um regardless of how short i condensed this video into it i've been recording for two hours straight of loading screens so um make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you care about my channel at all and want to see it thrive that's a good word right shout out to rudy gay for being the sixth best scorer in the nba and i'm out of here cut